Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the generator called Dirt. So right now I've opened a sample file which is neat mat and I've assigned some basic uh, green color uh, slightly shiny sort of uh, paint material so I just wanted uh, some dust uh, sed uh, sedimentation on it dust layer on it so for that I'm going to use this dust generator sorry dirt generator so what I'm going to do right now is I've got a green layer so I'm going to duplicate that layer okay press ctrl D and just slightly uh, give a variation and also roughness variation to that and then add a mask and then in mask we'll add a fill and then choose uh, something called grunge okay so I'll be using one of the grunge maps here uh, this one would be fine and uh, you should able to see that nice paint coming there okay uh, and uh, some variation in the shine as well so you can um, make this rough and also you can choose a minus 0 0.01 or a 0 0.03 amount of uh, height so you get that nice thickness to this paint okay so this is the uh, layer what I have got so slightly shiny this is way too much I'm going to put minus 0.02 or minus 0.015 okay very slight shine uh, you can just see the way this is forming the bump there okay so I'll just uh, put the light favorable to this angle uh, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do uh, copy this I press ctrl C and in the body I'll paste it and also in the base I will paste it okay so the same thing gets applied now let's see uh, in the head lay head object I'll be adding one more uh, fill layer and then I'm going to choose some dirt color okay and then I want this to be a rough and then 0 0.001 is the amount of height I'm just putting there a very subtle now I'll just uh, go to this layer mask called white and uh, and then I'll add a generator to that and in that generator I'll be adding uh, a dirt generator and then you should see the object has got some dirt on top of it like that uh, for better uh, visibility of the dirt I'll hide this layer so that you could able to see the dirt and also I'll change the color of this to more bluish so that you can see it clearly and I'll make it more dark okay and then I want to select this one okay so let's uh, hide it okay now I should be able to see this nice dust formation or dirt formation so I just uh, uh, have uh, different things here one is random so it, it randomizes the arrangement of this texture every time you click it changes the placement of it you have inverse of it you can invert it and you can get uh, complete opposite result so it is by defaultly having a grunge map and uh, we have dirt level you can control how much amount of dirt you want on the object okay and then you have a contrast you can make it soft and make it highly contrast also and then you have this triplanar 
uh, where you can apply triplanar if you feel that the grunge texture what we have applied is only working for UVs and then you got the seam lines so you want to avoid seam lines you can hit triplanar there and then you have some triplanar contrast where the planes where they blend they should blur out the top plane and the side plane you should able to see that uh, blurring of this uh, planes here okay so I just want it, it to be nicely blending so we have the grunge amount you can control the amount of grunge in it and also you can control the scale of the grunge okay and then uh, you have a custom grunge map also uh, we have edge masking you should able to see it's only working on the edges here and then we have a custom grunge map for that I need to scroll down and then here in the custom grunge you can use any noise texture okay so I'm using uh, maybe a black and white map and then once you have used that map here you have uh, some controls but before going into that you need to say I want to use a custom grunge so the map which is already there by default if you don't really like it then you can use this one okay so this grunge map has got the balance option okay you can use that you can invert it okay and then you have contrast you can make it more contrast also okay and uh, if you feel this texture looks good but you didn't really like it then always you can use another filter on top of it and then you can use a filter called blur and then you can blur that fill texture completely or a little bit 0.025 so that adds slight softness to that okay so we have uh, uh, this balance and contrast option and you can play with the way the dirt is and uh, you have uh, micro height and uh, micro normal where you can choose uh, a texture so I'm going to use a grunge and I will use a directional grunge and uh, right now it's not using because I need to go there and then in micro details I need to enable micro height and that will bring up and you have all that options for the micro height to be controlled sorry it's very subtle okay um, so very similarly you can use a normal map also just go there and then choose the normal so we have a one flakes map I'm going to use that so that is also going to be used so you need to uh, go there and then switch off this micro normal and micro height if you don't really want them okay so this is uh, specially a predefined uh, masking generator which gives you all that sort of dust uh, what you wanted them this layer's opacity can be controlled if uh, to control the amount of dirt you wanted on top of it and then I'll go there and then I really didn't like this black and white texture so I'm going to use uh, switch off custom grunge to bring back my grunge there okay so I'm going to copy these uh, three layers control C to copy and then go to the uh, body and then I pre place control V and for the base control V and I'm going to delete these layers which I have created because I really um, feel that now you should able to see this uh, is also respecting that um, shoulders I mean something some planes which are facing top and the also it is respecting the ambient occlusions and it's giving that nice age-old look uh, what you wanted onto especially when it is exposed to dust 
okay that is really important so explore this dirt generator and you'll really love it okay